Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Robin if you happen to be new. Sorry about the background noise. My husband's in the shower and the dryer is going, so a lot going on this afternoon, so please ignore the extra noise. But today I've got such a fun video for you all. Our friend Rebecca over at Middle Hill Farmhouse has put together this wonderful autumn hop and she's got together a lot of great ladies who are included today. And we all have an autumn video for you guys. They're about five to 10 minutes long, some a little longer. They're all gonna be autumn related, whether it's cooking or decorating or cleaning. I'm so excited about this. I am here though to introduce you to Heidi, my friend Heidi. Her channel is Heidi's Humble Home. I'll list this, I'll list her channel across the screen here. So I'm introducing her channel. I'll have a link down below that take you that will take you directly to her video and Rebecca has put together a link for us in my description box also where you'll click on that link and it'll take you to every video back to back without interruption how fun is that so anyway guys it'll be a lot of fun when you go over to each channel leave them a comment in the comment section that Robin sent you go ahead and hit that red subscribe button to each of their channels and I know you're gonna meet a lot of wonderful women and if you're coming over from someone else's channel Hi again, I'm Robin and I'm so happy to have you. Okay friends, let's get going, sit back, get some sweet tea or a big girl drink and enjoy this autumn collab that we have for you guys today. I wanna to give a huge shout out and a thank you to Kendra with Tiered Trade Decor for sponsoring this video today. I knew when Kendra reached out to me to show you guys one of her fall decor boxes, I knew my autumn hop would be a perfect opportunity to showcase her business. Here is just a quick shot of the Tier Trade Decor website. It's very user friendly, full of decorating ideas and advice. There are four different subscription options and in my opinion, price very reasonable. Thanks again Kendra for sponsoring my Autumn Hop video and allowing me to show all my friends your awesome Tier Trade Decor company. I'll also have all of her information down below in my description box. All right, so I'll start by showing you guys what all came in my home decor box. There were five different items. You saw that fall sweet fall stack of books there. The little wooden books are so, so sweet. That farm fresh pumpkins beaded at, with the tassel at the end. I love those little beaded ropes that you can hang over pretty much anything. That little sweet fabric pumpkin and just the neutral brown tone is wonderful. This welcome harvest sign is all wooden. It's stackable and it's super cute with a little blue truck on it that are so popular and then a little floral sprig to kind of add some greenery into your arrangement. I also went into my little tiered tray tub that I have that's all my little small sweet home decor items and I just kind of pulled out some neutral a lot of green a lot of brown uh, toned items to help me complete my tier my two tiered tray so these are just some items I already had there's nothing new here today and this is the area that I'm going to place the two tiered tray on I think it's going to look really cute up against this corner wall over here kind of give it some height beside that lamp so this is the area that I'll put my tray on. And here's the tray I'm going to use. It's just a simple black matte tray, two-tiered tray. And so let's start decorating with this. I like to start with my big pieces first, then add in my little pieces, and then add in some picks or some greenery to kind of complete it. So let's see what we can come up with. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is start with my really bigger piece, and this is this Welcome Harvest sign that's stackable. I think it is so, so cute. I'm not really big into the trucks for fall. However, this little sign was really a great starter point here on my two-tier tray. So I'm going to use the sign first, and then you'll see we just kind of play around with everything. Um, I just love this neutral pumpkin. It is adorable, and I am all about a fabric pumpkin. Um, I'll have some more decorating with pumpkins, uh, videos coming out in the next couple of weeks and you'll see that most of my collection of pumpkins are fabric I just love them so now I'm work we're, we're going to work our way from the bottom to the top I'm going to kind of go back and forth that little fall sweet fall stacked book sign was not quality quite tall enough for you to see it with that little lip so I just added another little wooden book that I had to kind of rise it up just a little bit and then you'll just see me here just kind of play around with the decor I settled for these two-tone brown little wooden pumpkins that are so adorable I've had them sometime now they're from Hobby Lobby and that just kind of completed that little look on top of the books and then we'll move back down to the bottom shelf I wanted to use those 
um, measuring spoons for sure but I thought this might be the perfect place to put that little greenery sprig and kind of help this little area be more complete here so that's what you're seeing me here just kind of playing around with this little bottom area real quickly Okay, and after much deliberation, as you can see here, I finally got this little spot here just like I want it. I don't know about you guys, but I watch a ton of tiered tray decorating videos. They make it look so easy. And then I get all my stuff together. I've got this plan in my head. And then when I go to decorate a tiered tray myself, oh my goodness, it just never comes out the way I think it's supposed to come out. So it does take me quite some time to get this tray just the way I like it. But in the end, I do think it's adorable. So again, we're moving back up to the top tray I've added another little riser underneath that hello pumpkin sign those are very important to have guys to kind of give some height to your tear tray especially if it's like mine it's got that little lip on it some of them have a flat surface but this one did not so I did have to use a couple of little risers um, to kind of give some height to some of my decor Okay, I'm feeling like something needs to be coming up from here. I think it needs a little bit more height right there. So I think I'm gonna take this pick, put it up here in this little container for a little height, and then maybe use a couple of these little rings that kind of match that muted color there on that floral pick. And see if I can use these down here below to give me some greenery and pull that up here to the top. Let's see what that looks like real fast. Okay, I think that looks much better. I thought that really needed some height right there in that little picture. And then I just kind of, even though those were like little rings that go around napkins, I kind of filled in the holes and covered them up and I think that looks really good. The bottom definitely needed some greenery and I believe the top did too. So now let's finish. We don't really have to have a whole lot in the back since we're just gonna see the front of this since it's gonna be over in a corner, but let's kind of fill in the back of the bottom real fast. I went ahead and just added a little bit more piece. I felt like I needed just something else right here in the bottom. So this cute little cutting board that says yum, I just placed that there and then put the pumpkin back on top of it. So, okay, 
that I'm going to stop here. I'm not going to add anything else. That's one thing about doing a tear try. You can just add and add and add until your heart's desire. But sometimes it can get very overwhelming. So here's just a full look at it. I love it. I love the mute colors. And even though this is an orange that I really don't um, go for most of the time for fall, more of a, probably a Halloween, um, I just thought everything looked really well up against that orange. So I'll try to go with a very neutral color so it would kind of blend in. And so this is just kind of the overview of all of it. And I just filled in the back with that green pumpkin back there. And I used a plate to kind of give it some height back there, that little green pumpkin plate to give it some height. So let's go around to the other side. I for sure wanted to use this pumpkin. It's just one of my favorites. Anyway, that goes really well with the orange beads also. So this is the other side of it. These measuring spoons, absolutely gorgeous. I love them. I've had those for probably five years now. I used to use them when I would do like my Thanksgiving baking and stuff like that, but I've quit using them and just put them on display. They are so, so pretty. So I loved all of the stuff that came in that little box. I will link Kendra's tiered tray box at website down below in my description box. Please go over and check out her website and let her know that Robin sent you. Okay friends, so here I'm just going to set my tear tray over here in the corner so that y'all can see how it ended up looking. I'm absolutely so happy with it. I know I had a ton of stuff going on in today's video. I was promoting Kendra's tear tray decor company and promoting our wonderful Autumn Hop collaboration that Rebecca put together for us today. And I appreciate you guys for your patience and I hope you enjoyed this video and it maybe encouraged you to go do a tear tray in your kitchen today for fall. Don't forget to head on over to Heidi's channel and check out the video that she's got for you today. I would love it if you would take a second, give her a thumbs up, subscribe to her channel, and let her know in the comment section that I sent you. She's a wonderful lady with a great little growing channel, and she would love your encouragement. And if you're coming over from someone else's channel today, don't forget to leave me your name, maybe where you're from in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. If you're a returning subscriber, hello guys. Thanks again for coming back for another video. I appreciate you all, and I will see you next week. Bye.